So this is the S Halsite transponder, which is a collaboration between uh, the CATA Amateur Radio Society and AMSAT DL, and uh, it's a transponder on a geostationary uh, satellite. And uh, this is the actual um, software-defined transponder that uh, we're using uh, for uh, one of the passbands. And uh, this is the progress on it so far. What I'm going to do is, um, hopefully, I'm going to show you something which, um, or you'll hear something which you might have heard before, if you're a bit long in the tooth. So yeah, it's generating um, telemetry which you may have heard um, many, many years ago back on uh, some other uh, Phase 3E satellites from AMSAT and uh, it is in fact decoding and uh, it's being generated uh, by the, the uh, software defined transponder and uh, if I select the right thing here you can even see hopefully you can see that Sorry, it's a bit small. And uh, yeah, I'm just monitoring what's going on here. The uh, This is the, an FFT um, of uh, the baseband, um, one of the baseband uh, quadrature inputs. Uh, this is uh, here is a, a deliberate tone that I have there, which uh, is a test tone. This here is the uh, Morse code. Uh, there's a Morse code beacon as well on here, which I've put in for demonstration purposes. And this here is. Um, lack of filtering on the uh, beacon that you're hearing right now. I've got to fix the, the filtering on that. And uh, this is the non-FEC version. Um, I haven't got the FEC version working yet. The code's in there, but uh, it's not, not working. And uh, just to show you, this is not smoke and mirrors. This is the antenna that I'm using, which is picking it up from the, from the board here. Uh, the board's actually plugged into a, a spectrum analyzer up here. And uh, this is my receiver that I'm using right now to um, receive that. But at the same time I can also probably use another receiver to pick up the uh, beacon, the, the uh, Morse code beacon. There you go, so that's the progress so far. Thank you.